This match features Zambia and Eswatini in the under-20 Kosafa Cup of Nation taking place in Eswatini at the moment. So for this match, it is a match that is determinant on the two teams that will qualify for the under-20 Africa Cup of Nation, which will take place in Egypt next year, 2023. So as you know, this game was a crucial game for Zambia. And uh, Zambia played it with all their might and they did it very well in uh, the way that they played because they took over the possession. In the first game that Zambia played, we played against Mauritius and we put in a very good display against Mauritius which showed that Zambia was the upper hand in that game. As we scored three goals and just looking at the game itself, you would see that we have a lot of young players who could actually feature in the national team as time goes by. So in the first game, we won 3-0. And today's game, we also played very well against the hosts, which is Eswatini in this case. And Eswatini just beat Botswana in a one-goal win, uh, the last match that they played. And this match that uh, we played today, we playing Eswatini, was a very hard match. But we ended up being victorious. If you watch the match, we ended up being victorious in a two-new uh, win. Because our boy is putting all the effort. So these are the people that, people, uh, that uh, our coaches should be looking out to. Because these, in the next near future, will be part of the national team. I remember Renford Kalaba was 18 years old when he entered into the national team and he actually made an impact as we got with age and grew up. So among these, we have a few players that could make it to the national team if we sponsored them very well, if we nurtured them and we gave them the experience needed, you know. That is how they start. If you look at Patson Daka, Fashion Sakala, Enoch Mepu, all these came from the under 20 and they upgraded from there into winning so this was the first goal that was scored and as you, as you can see this player is a very young player and the way that he scored it was very composed and very interesting if you you, you ask you know these ones know that they are going to win it because there's no other team that is performing as like zambia at the moment when it comes to this tournament now not only is zambia performing very well they are outshining other teams in uh, the male football the female football as well if you look at the shipolopolo as well they are doing very fine also they are outperforming other teams so i hope this will encourage the male national team to also play very well because if you look at the under 20 under 20 is performing very well this one we want to nil the, the shipolopolo or the copala queens are also on fire they actually won the kosafa cup of nation so at the moment ironically speaking the male national team is the winner of the Kosafa Cup of Nations, Zambia. The female national team of Zambia is the winner of the Kosafa Cup of Nations. And we hope that this under 20, Zambia, will be the winner of the Kosafa Cup of Nations. So as Zambia, we won, we own the Kosafa Cup of Nations, you know. And look at how composed we play normally because, you know, this has been our cup. We've had it for a long time and we keep on having it. And we're not going to lose it today. So look at this wonderful free kick that was given, the second free kick which was uh, dangerous and the keeper even though the keeper caught it but it was a dangerous free kick and you see you can see that uh, the players are putting in their efforts i know the cameras are not that good compared to the normal games that we play but uh, this is all the best they could give con concerning the coverage and the the football itself so yeah we played with all their might attacked as much as possible and end up with two goals in the end and this was the second goal if you look at how well he scored the second goal it was brilliant only to say the least so if you're wondering why i'm actually commentating all through it is to avoid copyright strikes with youtube uh, so i'm able to give you the highlights at the same time that we do not have any copyright strikes so we both get a win-win in this case and uh, all the same don't forget to subscribe like share our videos so we can reach out to more people and also give you more updates as it goes on so thank you very much and wonderful day this is maxwell with the gambit and I bid you good.